What is up everybody, I am back with another weapon class setup for Warzone and today I'm showing you guys my new M13 build. This M13 build is focused on having zero recoil while not losing all mobility with this gun. This M13 build is amazing and very easy to use. In the last few weeks I've seen so many more M30s on the battlefield and I love to see it. It is a fantastic gun with great base stats. But before we go into the class setup, if you enjoy these class setup videos, Please consider leaving a like and subscribing and let's get into it. So as stated before, this build is focused on having no recoil but not losing all control and snappiness of this gun. It is very easy just to throw every accuracy and control attachment on it and call it a day, but that's not how this works. Let's start with the muzzle. The best and really absolute best muzzle attachment is the monolithic suppressor. It adds sound suppression and damage range. This means not being visible on the map when you are shooting and that is a must in Warzone and increasing the damage range meaning maximizing the range where the damage will fall off. The M13 is already one of the better long range ARs in the game making the monolithic the best option to make it even more insane. Next up the barrel. I chose the Tempest Marksman. This will increase your damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control. As explained with the monolithic, the damage range is very good and the bullet velocity will make the bullets travel faster, very good for longer range fights. Also, the recoil control adds us the needed control to make this M13 as steady as she can be. For the underbarrel you have multiple choices, the commando foregrip, the merc foregrip and the ranger foregrip. I prefer the ranger foregrip as it will increase the recoil control in longer range fights and also improving the vertical recoil as well. The other options will do fine. But this is, in my opinion, the best one. As for my next attachment, I chose the 60 round mags. The M13 is not the fastest killing gun in the game and you would love to have enough bullets in the mag to keep on spraying. It does decrease the control a bit, but not that much. And for my last attachment, I used a stippled grip tape. This will increase the overall mobility. I chose this option to make it a little bit more mobile even though it decreases the control a bit. If you go full control, this gun will become slow to handle and it will feel kinda clunky in my opinion. Using the stipple grip tape will make the M13 feel nice and agile without losing too much recoil control and overall control. So overall it has increases in control, range and accuracy with 60 in the mag. I do not recommend using a scope, the M13 has a beautiful iron sight even for longer range fights. If you really want a scope, you could strip the stipple grip tape and put on the scope. But remember, it will become less mobile and feel a bit clunky. This M13 is a beast and I really enjoy using it. It has insane recoil stability, nice agility and insane range. Give this bad boy a try and find out yourself. My name is Exceptional and if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next video.